Hey, what's up guys? Hoji Knows Best here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the Hisense 65 inch 4K HDR TV and the official model number is the 65H9D+. And this video is sponsored by Hisense, but all the opinions and viewpoints that I'm about to talk about are of my own. So let's gonna jump right into it and talk about the first thing you wanna know about your new TV if you're thinking about getting one, and that is just how does the picture look on it? And I would tell you that with this TV, which is hovering around $1,000 or so, first getting a 65 inch TV for this price point with some of these features is pretty good. But second is that it does have a wide color gamut, so it's gonna be be able to represent colors very nicely on this panel. And I would tell you that the first thing I did was load up Netflix and also YouTube and I started streaming some 4K HDR content and I was very pleased with the picture that I was able to get on it. And this TV also has a 120 hertz refresh rate so if you're playing games or you're watching very fast content on it, it's going to be very smooth and look really good on it. But just in general I really enjoyed the picture on this and the black levels were actually better than I thought they were going to be so uh, this TV looks really good in my opinion and then you bundle in the fact that that um, you can use built-in apps like Netflix and YouTube and Amazon and Fandango that are already built in side of the TV and they perform very well too. Like sometimes TVs have these built-in software apps and they're kind of sluggish and don't really keep up. Um, these were just fine and they felt like I was using them on something like my Xbox but I was just using it on the TV so that's a really good thing with the processing power. And as I mentioned before I was wirelessly streaming with these apps so this TV does have built-in Wi-Fi but also does have an Ethernet port if you want to use that. And as far as the other the ports it does come with three USB ports and also four HDMI ports with only two of those going to be HDMI 2.0 compliant meaning that's going to be kind of like the the true 4k experience you can get with higher frame rates and things like that so make sure you do use those two if you're going to be hooking up something like your Xbox one X or something like that to it to get the best 4k experience now, as far as controlling this TV the remote control is a little long but it does have all the buttons and things that you will want to be able to control the functionality of your TV and I really do like at the bottom they have really big, beautiful, bold buttons for all the popular streaming apps that you're probably going to be using. So you can just tap one of those and switch between them instead of having to dive into the menu and things like that. You have quick access to them on the bottom of this remote. Now, if you currently don't have a lot of access to a lot of 4K content, don't worry. This TV does have a built-in upscaler, so it can upscale 1080p video up to, you know, 4K. It's not going to be like true 4K, of course, but it will allow that picture to be better than what it is currently just sitting at 1080p. And so as a whole just sitting back looking at this TV for around a thousand dollars depending on where you buy it online you're going to be getting a 65 inch 4k HDR TV and the Hisense brand may not be wildly well known, especially here in the US, but for thousand dollars, don't think that you're gonna be getting a cheap experience. It's just gonna be giving you really good performance and features at a price point that's not gonna break the bank. And I think that's the main goal of this company is to give you a really good solid performing product and not having to have you spend thousands and thousands of dollars so you can save a little bit of money and buy something to eat or take somebody out on a date, whatever you wanna do with your extra money. Uh, but anyway guys, these are just my opinions about this TV. If you wanna find more information, there'll be a link down below. You you can check it out and get to more information about the TV, as I just said, on their website. Oh, anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And like always, if you are watching me on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I want to thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.